Sustainability is defined as the ability to endure. The ability to continue doing tomorrow what we do today with limited resources that we extract. Sustainability is a minimum. Aiming for sustainability seems ludicrous. When we sort of naturally assume the mindset that nature is something that we have to dominate or win or beat, we're missing the fact that we are a part of nature. And when we work with things rather than against them, it's like surfing or riding a canoe. You go down river, you don't go up against the current. You, know, you wouldn't know this home is off the grid. You know, before there was a grid, there were power companies. And these power companies were building windmills. And then somebody strung up a bunch of lines and hooked us all to this grid, and we have to play by their rules. Well, we got our own rules. If this up and coming generation really embraces sustainability, in 20 years, we could be a lot farther ahead than we think we could be. And, you know, a new idea comes into play. There's a very small number of early adopters to an initial new concept. But as long as they keep going, people will follow them. And then more people follow them. And then loads of people follow them. We're so smart. We have so much technology. We, honestly, we have everything we need. It's a matter of actually making the choice to transition into that lifestyle. It, it sounds scary, right, because we resist what we don't know. The great thing is once you just decide to face it, you're like, wow, there's this great opportunity on the other side of that fear. An environmentalist might be someone who doesn't want to change the environment. Sustainability, I think, doesn't say that, you know, we can't have cities and we can't go to the moon, you know, it's a philosophy of approaching all human activities in a way that is not setting us back in the future.